dude, are you kidding me? Jim! This guy can ride anything. I don't want to give up one bit of power anywhere. It's got to be a little bit difficult for Hunter to see Jet getting all the headlines, but I, I do believe they both want the best for each other. The main event in Arlington goes to Hunter Lawrence. As we close down on this West Coast Championship, Hunter Lawrence is in with a real shot for a title. <laughs> got to get around 18. This lap. Roll with it. Taste the blood. Go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, boy. It's the last ditch effort right here. Kenny has got to go for it. Look at this. You go get it. Oh. So we got some turkey bacon. Let's do a little paprika and a little bit of garlic salt. I haven't had those two ones in a while, but spice it up a little bit for the cameras, you know? <laughs> I feel like for so many people this year, just the question of who's a better racer between Hunter or Jet, it was almost a no brainer. It was hands down, Jet's the guy. Tried to bite off more than I could chew on that one. I just got to respect the rules in the kitchen, bro. As we close down on this West Coast Championship, Hunter Lawrence is in with a real shot for a title. The main event in Arlington goes to Hunter Lawrence. Hunter Lawrence, you are a main event. Oh, freaking incredible. Just kept telling myself one more lap, one more lap, and then last turn I was just like, yeah, we did it, we did it. And then over the finish line, I just fell apart, dude. Oh my God. Give it a little flip. That was a really good flip for all the OCD people out there. I'm sure that made you cringe. Put a filter on it, do what you gotta do, because that ain't a beauty shot of an omelet. They've done their homework in this camp, and I think it's, if it's now, it's, it's not, I shouldn't say now or never, but like, it's a pivotal year for Hunter. Dude, so much emotion, like the sport that almost broke me just gave me one of the best nights of my life, not even a year later, so that was why it was uh, just so damn emotional, dude, like for everyone in, in our little crew and circle. What we're seeing right now with the Lawrence brothers is this culmination of two guys that have spent their entire life battling with each other. They're so competitive. And now they're at the, the pinnacle of this sport for being on a 250. Let's go shred the Narville. We're here. We're here at the farm ski. You ready, Milo? We're here at the farm, man. We're at the farm. Come on, dude. Come on, buddy. You're right. It's kind of funny, this shows how much people really pay attention. People have been saying good luck to me this weekend in Atlanta. I'm riding outdoors at Supercross, guys. Come on. Hey, if I said, yeah, I have red plate, they'd probably believe it. It's funny what people say, man. Oh, yeah. Someone said they uh, a loaded trade. They said, oh, are you Jet's brother, Hunter? I mean, I, I, I can see how they can get confused with the 41, but yeah. one's red-headed and one's like almost black hair. One's, like. one's American and one's Australian. Yeah. There's a, like, there's not, it's not like if they're like, oh, you kind of look like... a lot of similarities like, here. Like, yeah, the only similarities they have is they both ride Hondas and they both have 41. Jet's effectively out of this championship, but with him already switching into motocross mode over the, uh, over the break while the West Coast guys were running, I mean, he's really going to be looking to make a serious run at that motocross championship. Jets always just ran what Hunters ran. Now in Supercross, Hunter was starting out and what Jets ran, and now it's like kind of swapping. It's got to be a little bit difficult for Hunter to see Jet getting all the headlines, but I, I do believe they both want the best for each other, and, and they will push each other. Testing the outdoors. Pull this one out, put another one back in. I don't know that I've ever seen brothers more equally talented.
this guy can ride anything. I don't want to give up one bit of power anywhere. He needs to have as much as possible and then just ride it. He's just used to shit, and he knows exactly what it's going to do. That's the way he always like gets. Even with its suspension, he just knows exactly where he can take it. Dude, are you kidding me? What did he do? Yeah. What happened? He just <laughs> crashed going straight. <laughs> That crash didn't hurt like like my body, it just hurt my pride. What's happening right now with Jet being this like new superstar in the sport? Hunter's probably known it was gonna happen all along. Man, Hunter's probably already over it. One thing I noticed with the land track, it seems to be like there's fast sections, like where you're wide open and it's gonna be fast mile per hour, and then you gotta come around a turn and then you're back into uh, into a super cross yeah. section. You know, so you gotta be able to do that section wide open, play them and elbow against the ribcage and then you got to come around and you gotta breathe and then not over jump and just get used to that where you're gonna have to obviously lift your eyes up flat out flat out flat out come back breathe and then go again so have a think today when you're doing your practice first podium first main event win red plate if I said all of these things at the start of the season in reference to a Lawrence brother most people were gonna look to jet but it's Hunter, man. Hunter's the one that came out. He's consistently been on the podium. He's got a win, he's led the points, and he's going to be fighting for this championship at Salt Lake City. As a dad, you just want your kid to be healthy. You know, you want your kid to achieve and perform at the best he can perform. That's all you want. It's not even necessarily about the win. It's about seeing your kid perform and, and ride how you know he can ride. The 250 West Series, Cooper's got the lead right now, but of course, uh, Hunter Lawrence and Cameron McAdoo are right there. So that thing looks like it's going to go down to the wire. They've got three races in Atlanta, and then they have the shootout at the final round in Salt Lake. Focus! You know, I had more questions than answers for Hunter. He did a great job. I mean, getting the getting the red plate and being a race winner and points leader was not something that I saw happening for Hunter Lawrence this year. I think they need something to go wrong for Justin Cooper. I feel like if you give Justin Cooper, A, the points lead, uh -huh. and B, okay, maybe those guys are able to match him. But to say that McAdoo or Lawrence or both are just better than him and They'll just beat him straight up every time, no problem, and overcome that whatever it is, two-point gap, six-point gap. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. That seems a little crazy to me. My prediction is that this title 100% just comes down to some sort of mistake by somebody. Hunter's like, seriously, I thought we were a good eight, eight to ten months away from getting wins with Hunter, but typical Hunter, he's... The worst practicer in the world. <laughs> just practices, qualifying, like he just always off. And then when it comes to racing, he just finds another level somehow. I think we're in for something pretty cool here, pretty unique. Um, going to Atlanta Motor Speedway outside. This is like a Daytona-ish vibe. We're 12 in. It went by like a flash. We had a little breather, and now we're gonna crank out five races in four weeks because Atlanta gets the three in a week and then Salt Lake, Salt Lake, but dude, this is like almost over. In reality, Joe, who's left in this championship fight? Cooper and Kenny. Yeah. That's it. And one of them's 15 up. If you're looking at those two, mano a mano, which is coming down to, you can't possibly argue that Cooper doesn't have a very distinct edge right now. Atlanta is probably going to be a little bit muddy and essentially all of the pressure is on Cooper because at this point Kenny has literally nothing to lose. We the blue dog. So we should be good. Gone. That's yeah. rain till one o'clock, dude. Really? Yeah. But here it starts breaking up. Dude. Lucky we're not down here on the pen and we'll be getting hammered. Dude. Kenny has a one for six races, Kiefer. I think we'll see a different Kenny, a little bit, some little changes. Huh? We got five rounds and 15 points to make up, and you know, we still got a, a calm, cool, confident Ken. I'm not saying he's gonna be tons better, but I think he'll yep. he'll be a little bit mentally relaxed. I think he got a little bit of a rest. I think he needed some of that. I think he needed a reset. So if this helps anyone, I think this helps Kenny more than Cooper. 
On my end, I'm actually hoping for more rain today. I want to shake up the series a little bit, but um, I don't know, right now it looks like it's kind of holding off and it, it might end up being a decent night. So we just need to do what we do and try to make up some points, man. All right, buddy, block everybody out, kid. You worked too hard for this, let's go. This is it, time to bring the action 450 main event, Atlanta Motor Speedway. Who gets the jump? Not the best from Cooper Webb, but it turns out to be beautiful. Nice work. Cooper Webb went for it. He was a gambling man and it worked out. Where is Roxon? He's in 10th place and this is not what he is wanting. I can guarantee it. Be like Tolan around the outside. And you just got to go big picture here. If you're Cooper Webb, you can spare to lose a few points from Eli Tomac. Ken Roxon is way behind. Eli Tomac wins at Atlanta Motor Speedway. It's good. Hey, you got to look at it positive way. We got win in the box, that's all that matters. You start wondering with so few rounds to go and such a points lead if this is it, if Ken did lose the championship tonight. I don't know where this goes. I don't like how this is going to play out for the next four weeks. Trying, buddy. What do you say? Nothing. I know he won to win, but he made tons of points. I know. It's all that matters. Like, not good. Huh? He did not ride very good. I don't know. It's him. I just, just let him cool down, and I'm going to tell him. He can skin when the whoop, but this whoops, he, he yeah. can do it. He did it one time, but he was panicking to those whoops. That's what he lost the race. Yeah, then he times up. But I just let him cool down. You can't argue right away. Yeah, yeah. Cooper Webb third, he just kind of didn't have it all day long. Just wasn't great out there. But he's fine, right? If, yeah, if you're Webb, that. yeah, yeah. if you're Webb, you only care about where the 94 is. That's really it. Like, and if, if you don't see the 94, bring it on home. Dude, look at that thing. It looks so tiny. I know, doesn't it? That's freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah it's thing as hell. So quiet. Yep. Cool. What's that? Would you like me to back it out for you? I mean, if you're okay with it, I'm cool with it. Yeah. I think he'll stall it to start. First of all, he's got the sixth gear. No, he's not. He's got it. I'm impressed. So I am currently driving a uh, 1997 NSX Acura. It's a stick it. It's been a minute, but it's just something you never, never lose. But we're gonna do a little opening ceremonies video. Should be a good time. It's 22 points now, in case you're counting at home. I don't even know if the points even matter. You know, if you're Webb and you're like, look, this guy got nice. You're just like, it's more of, well, what are the odds that he put something huge together? I thought it would have a little bit more pickup in a second. <laughs> Emig used to always say, I take momentum over points. If he was two points behind or 22 points behind, the real problem is that he got nine. I don't know what to make of that ride from Roxon. It just wasn't good, man. I think it's incredibly critical for him to have a really good day on Tuesday. If he has another race outside of the top five on Tuesday, oh man, I don't want to say pack it in, but pack it in. Like it's. It might be over for Kenny. Just think Kenny is like on his heels right now. Like he doesn't know what to do with Webb because Webb's just coming at him from every angle, mentally, physically. Roxanne will have him where he wants him in the main event. He'll have him where he wants him in time qualifying. And Webb's just like, no problem. I'll see you at the end of this main event and I'll make a move and, and make it stick and, and game over. From Atlanta Motor Speedway and they're off. Ken Roxon with a good start. Can he hold up? Jay Sexton. Cooper Webb right in there. Where did Cooper Webb come from? Cooper Webb being put to the test tonight yep. for this championship. Ken Roxon absolutely has been almost flawless. Round number 14, Ken rocks it back to his winning ways. So Webb has gone 3-6 at these two races. Kenny's gone 9-1. It's 13 points. I've got to think right now, you're thinking, this just isn't a great track for Coop. 
So the opportunity is there yeah. for Ken to make up. And then we're down to, who knows, eight with two races to go, 10? Yeah. It's certainly in play. Dude, super good. You can pause your lips again. Hey, what was that word? <laughs> good job, Daddy! Yes! <laughs> Good job, Daddy. I watched the whole thing come on top. They already cut the whoops down because you were bitching about it. They cut the whoops. It doesn't matter. Because you're bitching, you're being a... <laughs> it is a remarkable turnaround. There is no way when we left here last Saturday that it was looking like a week later we'd be here and things were trending in Roxon's direction. They may ask me up the track side. I'm like, these are whoops are just next level gnarly. Like nobody's going through them unless you're trying to do a fast lap, you know what I mean? Think about trying to do this in 20 minutes. Cooper Webb has seemed to struggle throughout his career in the whoops, right? And that, that theme is playing out this weekend. He has shown improvement, but man, it really seems like it's a liability for him. What was this stuff? We, we, I, we had to change forks before you practice. So these forks are fresh. I just got to check pressure. We, we kind of backtrack a little bit. Don't overthink it. Yeah. I can't let him keep thinking about stuff. You know, if you're Ken Roxon, it's got to be something you're looking at saying, hey, we have a real opportunity to make up points, right? In a series like this, when someone's down, when someone's showing a vulnerability, you have to take advantage of that. Really? I guess maybe I just have to go through them, but I just, I don't know, I, I don't want to crash, so I just rather, like, I'll do go one time when I'm trying to do a fast lap, but. I know Cooper's a gamer but it's 2.2 seconds between Anderson the fastest and Webb, and we saw Webb trying everything. I think he's against the ropes. We were taking stuff too serious the last few races, so brought the boys in for this one, lighten the mood, have some fun, and get back to enjoying it, and hopefully kicking some ass. I wouldn't say Tuesday night phased him at all. I think, if anything, it pissed him off, and he's the last person you want pissed off out here. This guy right here, Need a little, little pep talk on it. Hey! <laughs> you ready to go tonight or what? Yeah. I know you are. I hear these, these guys jaw jack and I'm like, just make it happen. Yeah. This is the one. 13. Kenny can get this to single digits. And if you can get it to single digits, you go to Utah with a with a legit shot. Like a like a real good shot. Are we coming? Waiting for you. Come on. If he doesn't gain some points tonight, it might be over with two left. Long, deep stroke, deep breath every time, and we can set ourselves in for another lap. One after the other. You need to tell him to go an extra 20. Huh? You need to tell him to go an extra 20. Who? 25? Yeah. Francis, he's going here. 20 minutes plus one lap as we bring the residency to a conclusion here in the 450 main. All right, buddy, one lap at a time. Believe in yourself, Ken. Lock your body in, look at these clutch, you do this. And what a jump by AP. What a start by Ken Roxon, too. Perfect execution, exactly what he needed to do. He started on the inside of Cooper Webb. That's perfect position. You gotta get around AP. This lap. And roll with it. Taste the blood. Go. Cooper Webb yeah. got the pass on AP Aaron Plessinger. So Webb now takes second place. He's 4.2 seconds behind Ken Roxon. Ken Roxon, the whoops, gets collected as he, or goes down, I should say, as he comes out of the whoops all on his own. Coming alive now, baby. The track has come to Cooper Webb. Did not have the best of starts. Ran in third for quite some time. Got past Aaron Plessinger. Here goes the pass. Ever since then, he's got it done. Cooper Webb with the pass on Ken Roxon. You broke it. Come on, Kenny. You want to keep this alive. You got to go. You got to counterattack. You cannot let Cooper Webb get the best of you. Do you want me to get him to jump or just let him figure it out? But what a run. Ah! What a rebound for ah! Cooper Webb if he's able to pull this off. Go! Come on. Let's go. Let's go. 
Oh, boy. It's the last-ditch effort right here. Kenny has got to go for it. 20 seconds of racing left. Can Cooper Webb hold on? Here comes Roxon. Give me five. Woo! It's a tough one, buddy. Hey, you <laughs> got a strong heart. Why did I have to do that? It was an amazing race for 17 minutes. And then it turned, it flipped, and it once again f did not flip Kenny's way. Tough as nails, huh? Man, he's like a shark. He snips some blood in the water and he's, he's another guy. That was impressive. We struggled all, all week and today was the day. We really did it, it was awesome. Blitz the whoops for 18 minutes in that race. You needed to the last three laps more than ever and you didn't do it. That is the difference between the race. Cooper Webb stu stood up, he, he blitzed the whoops, he got the gap he needed, and he beat Ken Roxon where he was the strongest throughout the day. That's uh, a moment that Cooper Webb is primed for. He lives for those moments. Yeah, Raj. Oh, man. Thank you. That was stressful. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Golly, dude, I was pacing Yeah. But luckily, he was, he was doing it, too. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I started, I was overriding there for a bit and yeah. then just like, just trying so hard and, but, but there at the end I was like a good mix of being patient but also aggressive, but getting yeah. the whoops right. And, and your commitment in the whoops yeah. paid off. Yeah, I didn't get if I crashed or not, I was going for it. He never gave up, oh, never. That was stressful. Well, I'm still shaking. Oh. The race. The race. The race.